Well, Krabby Bill here, as the shirt says. Me and uh, Stevie lives here up at Krabby's Mountain Spot. Going to do our first uh, first hunt of the season, and it's uh, nice to see that I'm going to be able to do it with my son. Uh, unfortunately, we were both uh, able. We had a couple of days off this week, and uh, so he uh, gave me a call, and up we came. I wasn't planning on coming up here this weekend, but uh, fortunately, uh, we're able to do this. So. I got the gnome slayer with me, who uh, brought a replacement gnome to sit out at the fire pit for with me when I'm all alone. Give me somebody to talk to. But uh, I did want to uh, mention uh, some people uh, that contacted me. If you watched the last video, you saw that while I was up here getting ready to head out to go hunting, uh, I was notified uh, by the hospital that my dad had a heart attack. Unfortunately, my father passed away. And uh, we had buried them uh, earlier this week. But I just wanted to mention the following people and uh, their uh, YouTube channels. South Pole 210, Jake the Fox, JB, Carl's Off the Grid, Rivers End Outdoors, Squirrely Acres Where Nuts Come Together, James Rice, J&J &J True Outdoor Adventures, Jeff F. Chad H., George Summerson, Bill Freer, Mudbugs Off-Road Adventures, Kurt, Scott Stinger, Whitetail Warriors, Deer Camp, and Outdoor Mishaps. Uh, everybody, or they're just uh, some of the ones that uh, reached out to me. Uh, you know, whether it was a text message, Facebook, uh, comments left on the uh, YouTube uh, video. I really appreciate everybody reaching out. But um, we, uh, we're here, and uh, we're going to hunt, and uh, we appreciate everybody. So thank you very much. Check out their channels, and uh, thank you very much. We'll, uh, we'll see you in the woods in the morning. Just so his mother sees it, that he's eaten, I wanted to uh, have a look at that. Little pizza, wings, barbecue chips. Are she, you happy? She knows I was losing weight, right? <laughs> well, when your mother packs, she packs everything. So we got some uh, Krabby's wings. We got some uh, DiGiorno pepperoni pizza. And now we're going to watch Robin Hood. Men in tights. Get up early, head into the woods. That'll be the next time we talk to you. See you then. Off to a uh, slow start so far this morning. But there's uh, Stephen heading into the woods. Let's hope for a good day. Looks like it's going to be nice out here today. It's a little cool now. It's just in the low 40s, uh, but it's supposed to go up uh, into the mid 60s today. I'm out here behind Jake the Fox's property and uh, I'm hearing something out there but it's too thick still looking for a spot I guess it's about 730 and uh, there was a nice spot Closer to uh, Phil's garage back here. I'm going to head in a little bit further. If I don't find a nice clearing, I'll turn around and go back to that uh, first spot that I had saw. And the wind's starting to swirl around. Uh, it started out of the north, then it was east. I'm not even sure which way it's coming now. I'm not sure which way I'm facing. Uh, but it's uh, the wind's coming from my right, uh, which is somewhat east, maybe southeast at this point. But uh, as soon as I got to the top of this hill, I uh, spooked a deer. I came up here when the wind started to swirl. Uh, it's the only place I had seen a deer. And uh, as soon as I got up here, I spooked one. 
So I'm just going to stay behind this tree for a bit and uh, see if it comes back. Well, after a beautiful morning, <clears throat> coming to get some lunch, the wind had been picking up while we were out there. I guess uh, at the moment it's not really doing it justice. This wind is kicking up a storm now. Uh, not too many leaves left on these trees. It's uh, blowing pretty hard. Hopefully it'll settle down again before we go back out after lunch. But I've uh, got a few things to do around the cabin. And uh, my son, he ate. He's taking a nap. Let's see what we can get done. Here comes another gust. Uh, not so bad. Stephen and I are out here now. It's um, a couple minutes after three. And uh, we came back in uh, just past the area where I saw or jumped that deer when I was getting ready to leave this morning. So we're here now. It's pretty thick. Kind of a nice, nice area. I want to remember this spot. I want to mark it for rifle season. Uh, real nice. I don't want to have to necessarily climb down here to pull a deer out, but uh, that's a real nice area. Uh, let's see what's going to happen. We're uh, we're out of the wind. And, uh, Stevens up there to my right, looking for a spot. Uh, Could always head back to the spot we had this morning. We'll check back. It's about uh, 420 now and Stephen and I moved again. He uh, he took the spot that I was in this morning. I'm further south of him. Uh, it's a nice spot behind two trees here. The only problem I have at the moment is the sun on my left side. I'm not able to see there. But uh, got a nice little open area here to shoot. Got some lanes. So, nice area. Just not seeing anything yet. Still beats sitting inside. Well, it's about 6.30 p.m., and we're back in. We uh, just got back in from the woods, and we saw nothing. Beautiful afternoon. Uh, made, would have been perfect with the deer, but it was great with my son. Uh, we had a nice time, and now I'm just sitting here cooking up some venison sausage for him. Going to get these uh, grilled up as an appetizer, and then we have some uh, venison steak, the last ones. We're going to uh, eat them up, have a couple of cold beers. This is him. I guess he's going to guzzle that beer. I'll be picking him up off the floor in about two minutes then. <laughs> so we're back in. We're just going to hang out now. and uh, He gets to pick the movies when he's here. It's um, Austin Powers night it's going to be. We're going to grub on these sausages, and then we're going to throw some steaks on the grill. We'll check back in a little bit.